what not I don't think many people know this but the slots we have here especially the pale throated one it only occurs in the three Guyanas and in a small part of Brazil so it's not the one that you always see in, in on pictures the mm. one with the a mask yeah and so it's mm. in my opinion they more beautiful mm. <laughs> but of course I'm biased and um, uh, they, they, they are definitely a different species and I think the fact that it only occurs in this reasonably small area mm. gives us more reason to be very careful yeah, with absolutely. the development of our country. Yeah, because the ICUN says that this is probably least concern. Yeah. But still, if their habitat is very quickly lost, yes. because they're such small, yeah. uh, slow breeders. Exactly. And mm -hmm. I think people uh, underestimate the impact on uh, these types of animals of climate change. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they, they've, they've survived for very long, long periods of time. Uh, but always, you know, evolutionary slow. No. But the, by, you know, the, the way humans have been changing the environment, our planet is going so fast that probably evolutionary they won't be able to adapt yeah, sufficiently indeed. fast, yeah. mm. being the, you know, the slow animals they are. Mm. And so uh, climate change is probably also going to, to affect them mm -hmm. uh, more maybe than we, we can assess at this moment. So there are a number of threats, especially in the coastal zone for them. Um, maybe in the interior less, but in the interior they're probably not as abundant as they are. They are more here. spread out. Exactly. And, yeah. and therefore indeed don't find mates that easily. And, exactly. Uh, yeah, because they move really slow, I understand. Yes, uh, yes. Only they four times a day. And then about 20 meters maximum yeah. or something. Like yeah, that. you uh, could actually come here and just mm -hmm. do a whole sequence on Anna, who is in this tree. Um, and just actually, it would be a nice study for a student to just follow her for a number of days. Yeah. And so then we learn a lot more about what it is they do. And actually, actually, that's a very nice idea to have. Uh, Mm -hmm. A student just uh, study her for two weeks and then we learn a lot yeah. about their daily uh, oh, patterns and very movements. Yeah. 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 Uh, sloth is, of course, pro part of the Xenatra, how do you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, the Xenatra. This is Xenatra program. Yes. And then in that program, we have two other animals the armadillo, yeah, armadillo and the anteaters. Ant ant yeah. yeah. So we, we usually have anteaters, we've always had anteaters. At this moment we have one anteater, but he lives in the trees, so we don't see him. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes he shows himself. He came to us this beginning of this year as a small baby. And uh, we, we, from the start, made sure that we would um, um, bring him up in such a way that he could be released. And uh, I'm not even sure if he's still there. Uh, we haven't seen him for a while, and so that means he's doing okay. And that is Great. really also our mm. philosophy. Even if they're very small, when they come to us, he was like this big, this big. And um, he now is like five kilograms and doing really fine. Okay. Yeah. And do we, you also get armadillos here? Or we don't. Rare? Very rare. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've had one or two armadillos. But um, uh, they are really nocturnal. Uh, I'm sure that in our forest there are armadillos, and so I, I'm just interested in them as a species. The problem is people eat them, and so um, the thing that happens is that you see armadillos if you drive to the lake, uh, the Procopond Reservoir. On the road, you will often see that they sell armadillos. Yeah. Um, so people do catch them, mm -hmm. uh, but we never, they never come to us because they basically, they, they disappear. 
And so it's now more like um, that we need to negotiate with our government about this, whether this should continue, whether we should, um, um, uh, you know, continue allowing this this type of hunting to go on because um, uh, we don't really know what's happening to the population. No, no, indeed. And so that's and is, is there in. a list uh, of animals that you are allowed to hunt here in Suriname? Yes, uh, there's a game, uh, a calendar, mm -hmm. um, in which they say which animals you can hunt when and mm -hmm. how many. Okay. Um, I myself am completely against any type of hunting mm. um, because I think it's unnecessary mm. to hunt because we as humans have been changing our planet in such a way already um, and it's already so difficult for the mm. animals to find pristine habitats to continue to survive and maybe Suriname is one of the better places for them but I think all over the world there is this, this big problem mm. where these animals uh, are losing habitat.